हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम रोहिताश एंड आई एम हेयर टू डिलीवर माय लेक्चर ऑन पैटर्न ट्रांसफर एंड एचिंग सो फार वी हैव डिस्कस्ड दैट फिगर ऑफ मेरिट ऑफ एचिंग एंड वी आर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट डिग्रीज ऑफ एन आइसोट्रोपिसिटी इन एचिंग नाउ द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन वेट एचिंग एंड ड्राई एचिंग एंड वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट प्रोसेस ऑफ प्लाज्मा एचिंग इन प्लाज्मा एचिंग For breaking CF bonds in CF4, energy of 105 kilocalorie mole is required. And for breaking silicon-silicon bond, energy of 42.2 kilocalorie mole is required. The CF4 does not directly etch silicon since the required net energy is positive in plasma due to collision of high energy electrons. Some CF4 molecules dissociated and free fluorine atoms and molecular radicals are produced cf4 plasma may be used to etch silicon on silicon dioxide or silicon dioxide on silicon now the etch rate may be increased by adding oxygen to cf4 cf4 gas for both silicon and sio2 because o2 will react with carbon atoms to form co2 it will remove carbon atom from the process and will increase f concentration such plasma is called is called fluorine rich the high pressure and isotropic h can be shown within this slide so this is about etching now we are having n isotropic etching and its profiles can be seen in this slide An isotropic etching refers to the etching process that attacks the layer significantly faster in the vertical direction than the horizontal direction. If etching progress equally in all direction, it is referred to a as isotropic. Most wet etching processes are isotropic that results in over etching or undercut of the mask, thereby narrowing the feature. Different etching profiles are shown in the slide. Isotropic etching can be countered by making the mask large at large but when feature height is comparable to the feature size line width and space mask compensation is not possible In my next slide you all of you are watching that how reactive uh, reactive ion etching take place it's a parallel plate reactor that shows the reactive ion etching Reactive ion etching has been developed to achieve a much higher selectivity that than that achieved by ion milling. Reactive ion etching etches the wafer and isotropically it is also called ion assisted etching or reactive sputter etching. There in reactive ion etching we are having two systems parallel plate the hexot and the hexot system. In parallel plate reactor the neutral electrode is attached to the chamber wall to enlarge its effective area while in hexot system the side wall itself acts as neutral electrode in parallel plate reactor as shown in the diagram the plasma must contact the chamber wall as the pressure increases plasma space and has plasma losses contact with wall the second system the hexot system In hexot system, as the side wall itself act as neutral electrode, so the potential difference between plasma and power electrode is increased, and hence it increases the energy of ion bombardment also. For n isotropically etching of silicon, chlorine based plasma is frequently used. Chlorine based plasma is also used to etch G gallium arsenide and aluminium based metallization. fluorinated plasmas can also be used under rie condition rie stands for reactive ion etching so this is the completion of unit number 4 thank you